So guys, this, this is a quick demonstration of how Data Watch Monarch can strip a PDF file and create an Excel template for you. Uh, and this is to address the, the issue around the, um, the BSA reports having to be manually rekeyed in for each report into the dental uh, payment spreadsheet. Um, so the report that we're, we're actually looking at here looks like uh, this. This is the PDF file that comes down. The first thing you would have to do is to combine all these PDFs into one so that you can apply this, what I'm about to show you here, in one shot to all 79 or, or 80 statements. Um, so that's what the report looks like. We're going to try and extract out certain certain lines, all, all of these. We need the, the uh, contract or the performer ID. We need these headings and so on. And I'll show you quickly how, how that's achieved. So uh, if I go back to Data, Data Watch Monarch here, okay. Um, we're looking at this, okay. So this is Data Watch Monarch, and this is the PDF file coming in here in just in, in just basic text format. And the way it works is you set traps on each line, so you select which line is like as a detail line. So for example, here all of this stuff with the performer ID and the name and the value, sorry about that, um, is is what we're trying to trap. So we call that a detail line. So you you you, you create create a trap called detail. You then it then will show you a sample of that line, and you tell you you give it certain uh, trap characteristics. So B means blank, then N means number. So where you see blank six numbers and another blank, that's a detail line. You're telling the the model how to find the detail line. Once you do that, you then highlight the value, the field that you want to create. So I want those six digits as a field, which is why it appears here, and I want these digits here as a field, which is the value, and they appear in this. Uh, where are they? Um, here, in the value column. So I've renamed these columns. Once I've extracted them, I've renamed them to what I want them to be called. So once you've got the detail line, then there's other characteristics you want to add on to each line, such as the contract number, which is sitting over here, which falls, which doesn't, doesn't, uh, which needs a separate trap on it, because this trap won't work on this line here because I have no numbers here. Um, there are other things like these headers. We want to append those. So we just basically create a simple append trap where we say, okay. So in this line, where the word contract appears, that's a trap. And when you find that line, use these create the field from these characters which I've highlighted. So that's that's why this Q70 appears here as a field, because I've set this append trap. I do the same thing for uh, the category. So that's the heading. You see this non-superable, all this stuff. I've said everywhere where you find a blank and then three alpha character characters, trap that line. And, and what I want you to trap is what's highlighted in blue, that whole width. And when it finds those lines, it adds them as a new field category here. And then finally, I've said, give me the page header, which is the date on the PDF file. I want that as a field as well, so I know what period we're talking about. And that, very simply, will create the Excel file for most of the data you need. The second bit is, is on the UDA's information, which has got its completely different format at the end of the report. And for that, what I simply do is if I can just jump across here, what I simply do is create. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm just trying to get to the other window here. I think it's this one. Uh, let's just let's cancel that first of all. Okay, I create exactly the same kind of idea, except this time I create a new a new table called UDAs by performer. I right click on it and just do edit and report design. You'll see the same idea again. This time I'm saying the detail line has got so this detail line has got the word current financial year in it. So wherever you find a line that says current financial year, which you'll see at the end of the report, should be towards the end. Uh, here, current current financial year, where are we? Do, 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 there, okay, current financial year. So this is the detail line I want to trap because that's the line that has the value on it. If I look to the right, I should see the UDA number against it. Sorry, it's a bit, my laptop's a bit slow here. Um, out here to the right, there's the value. So that's the detail line. And then what do I want to append to that? I want to append the performer ID. So again, select the line that has the sample data on it. Tell it blank, six numbers and a blank. And it'll say, okay, you need this. And then you select the six digits you want to create as a field. That's, that's how this gets created here. And then I do the same for uh, the contract ID, just like I did last time, pick it up. And then finally, I want this description, units of dental activity to be written out as well. So I did another, oops, I got a little pause here. Oops, sorry. Uh, so this is another one where it's saying, yeah, so find me wherever it says units of dental activity per 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 performer, find that line and then create that, this blue field 
uh, this, this text as a field. So I have two tables now. Uh, one has got all of the, the deductions data and the other one has the, the, the UDAs by performer. And then all, all I simply do is drag both tables into this combined feature with the deductions and the UDAs by performer and I create an append table. And there is all there, there is all the information you're trying to get from the PDF, which is performer, the deductions value, the contract number, the description, and further out you should see the period, and that's it. Now you have, and all you do then is export to Excel, and now you have an Excel file that you can use to, to use either VLOOKUPS on, or you can use the SUMIF command to find the data that you need to populate the dental uh, payments template. So that's the Data Watch Monarch in, in operation. They're very, very simple to use, very, very quick to learn. The only downside is it's quite expensive as a piece of software. It's about $1,400 or 1200 and something quid. Um, but it has so many applications. I'm just showing you the very, very basic uh, data stripping techniques. It also has a lot of uh, ability to combine and transform data. I didn't show you this, but I can transform data on the way, way through. For example, I could say uh, where, 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 I've, where I've pulled out Q70, blah, blah, blah. If you only need this digit here, these digits, I could very easily in the transform tell it to strip the first four characters and ignore them. So there's lots and lots of other things you can use this for. But certainly from my point of view, in terms of taking massive amounts out of, the, the, of time, out of the, the uh, dental payment spreadsheet uh, uh, each, each month, this is a fantastic tool for doing something like that. So I hope you find this useful. Cheers.